at the um, subject in the left hand now is being stated. Now we're back to the voicing that the beginning had, where mm -hmm. you have subject, counter subject, and then we're going to have counter subject two, right? Mm -hmm. We haven't discussed that yet. Okay, so let's do the subject in the which part. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like you could say base, but kind of in oh, almost oh, yeah, it's oh, in a okay. tenor bass range. Yeah. yeah, base, base. Okay, so rest. Yum, um, um, chara short, short, um, chara softer. Yeah, don't forget. Don't let the, the five poke in our piano. It's hard. But. Let's hear measure seven again, starting there. Rest. Bum, 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 ba -da -da. Bum, bum, ba -da short, short, rolling. Good job. All right, now we have um, measure seven. We have the counter subject one starting on the E flat, right? Okay, let's hear now counter subject one, you have to follow. That line and then the top notes, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do that. So I'll give you a rest on the first eighth note. Rest. Oh, no, no, it's only one of those voices. It's the top. Lift. written, he has a, um, a, the, the slur ends on the four and you're lifting on the five, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it looks. Okay, that's very good. You need a little more projection again because we don't have to, to get too much in the background. Um, mm -hmm. it's, hot, it's getting more intense, really, as it goes along. So let's try again counter subject one with more deeper in the keys, okay? Deeper in the keys. Rest. Break. Lift. Subject two. Counter subject two is, is is introduced here. We haven't seen it before, mm -hmm. and it's it's very it's like abbreviated. It's not very much. Mm -hmm. And what is counter subject two? Rest. Very nice. And what if I asked you to do counter subject one and counter subject two together? Go slow. Well, no, but it starts here. It starts with counter subject one. Yeah, it's, it's too soft. Okay, here. Because when you practice piano, you want to be like commit mm -hmm. to project. You want to project your sound right away because otherwise it's between you and yourself as opposed to, you know, projecting your tone out. Mm -hmm. So let's do, this, this is the sound you want. <laughs> singing it, okay? So, rest. Lift. Do it again. Rest. subject 2 to its completion. Mm -hmm. So let's see what the completion of the... I think you did it before, but it's this. Let's do it together. Right there. F, E, flat, G, rest. Now remember, the counter subject 2 is underneath yeah. counter subject yeah. 1. Yeah. Let's do it again. It, it, it's below. Yes. Rest. Rest. Go 
back to kind of subject one now alone. Rest. <laughs> The diminuendo that occurs at sort of midpoint means that you have to be deeper before that or you can't do a diminuendo at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's do those two parts. CS1, kind of subject one, mm -hmm. kind of subject two. All right, slowly, rassily. Subject, not counter subject two. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Isolate those two parts. Okay. It's the way you learn the piece inside out. Right here. Slow. Good. Good. Okay, now here's the trick. Here's the trick. The right hand has a connector. The right hand has a disconnector somewhere in, inside of that. Da da, short, short, bomb. What's the challenge? Not to have both hands copying each other's articulation. Because remember, you set up the shape of each uh, component at the beginning. You can't alter, oh, I think I'll decide to break these notes on this page because it's easier. Mm -hmm. So that's tricky. It's tricky for me, too. So, ta -da, ta -da, short, short, um, right? slower. You gotta go slower so you wait, so you gotta go as slow as your brain and your fingers and your motion can all keep up with everything. That means the learning stage, super so as slow as you can manage it, you should challenge yourself to how slow I can play and get everything I want. So rest when you have the middle voice to help you make it legato, right?